Welcome back to the road to round 30 of the challenge where we are trying to get to round 30 with no downs on every zombies map today We happen to die rise. Let's get into it. This right here is a controversial map Tons of people do not like this map. I'm somewhere in the middle. I don't really mind this map It's definitely like above mid in my opinion. It's really not bad. I enjoy playing this all right, that's one of the new things on this map as well, a part to the trample steam. There's a nice amount of buildables in this map, one really good one, which we'll get into later. There's two paths you can take. Ooh, I usually buy this way, as you can tell. I'm, I'm used to playing Black Ops 3 at the moment. I gotta be a little bit on edge because of that two hit down system we got going on right now. Yeah, a lot of people don't really like this map because of the verticality. Personally, I don't, I'm not like in love with it, but I think it's unique. I enjoy the challenge and I enjoy what it provides. Still don't have that extra point thing. I don't, I don't remember when that got introduced, but yeah, I really do not mind this map. I'm kind of a fan. Okay, so that worked. There's that like spamming F or square or X, whatever button, whatever console you're playing on to carry, quote unquote, carry multiple parts. So there's two parts to the trample steam right there. I really don't want to buy a B23R, but it uh, looks like I'm going to have to. Right now, we are just waiting on the elevator, which does get a bit annoying. But they did add an elevator key, which you can carry around and call the elevator. So at least they added that touch. I mean, it's a little bit annoying. I wish you could just kind of call them by default by like pressing the button. But still, there we go. Okay, there should be every part for the trample steam right there. Yep, there we go. We got our trample steam, which we can launch ourselves right over there if we decide to. So it turns out I forgot this is actually the better way to go elevator is the better way to go just because that takes us to the bank and that takes us down to the weapons locker there's the troll PhD right there if you guys remember that N I'll never know why they didn't throw it in this map they knew we wanted it hold F for part yes that's the elevator key I was talking about let's see what do I have in here a hammer interesting all right, I'm going to cheese this system a little bit. I'm going to take some money. Um, I don't know, man. Some people find that cheap. Some people don't. Let's turn on the power. I don't know. I don't mind it too much. There's double tap. Let's get this. Hopefully, this is jug. Hey, okay. There we go. Jug and double tap. There we go. You know what? I'll put all the rest of the money back. That's the only cheating is it's not cheating you know i'm i'm kind of a defender of the bank i think it's legit you know they throw it in there why should i be shamed into not using it but either way just for a more genuine first playthrough well not first playthrough of this map but you know playthrough of this map i will deposit the rest of the money i just wanted to get that you know secure get some get a little bit of security you know that's essentially all i wanted okay so there should be a part for us around here i don't remember exactly where but i know it is around here okay i thought there was a part around here it's starting to look like I'm wrong. Okay, here's a part to what I'm looking for. Not the part I thought I was going to find, but if you don't know, this is building the wonder weapon on this map. There's another part. Going to throw that, out, that onto the workbench. I think there's only one more part after that. The part I was thinking I was going to find before. Oh, wait. Nope, there's another one. The fire extinguisher. Okay, grab that, and now there's one more part. Okay, I'm out of ammo on that B23R. And this part is always like a bit of a maze to me. I'm starting to panic. Okay, that thing can kill in a in a tight situation, I suppose. Um, wall weapon. Gotta buy it. Remington's not the best, but it's better than shooting nothing, right? I really am trying to find this last part to the wonder weapon. i having a tough time. Ah, here it is. Okay, I forgot about this little like loft hangout space. That is the last part. So this is one thing I really find redeemable about this map is the wonder weapons easy to get easy to find the parts for like I didn't remember all those off the top of my head but I was just able to find them and now we've got one of the best wonder weapons of all time. All right now we're at the roof. This is like one of the best places to be. This is like a great scenery overall. I really enjoy it up here. There's pack a punch right over there. That's good to know. I am trying to find speed cola though. It could be this one, or is this mule kick? I don't really remember. You touch it, you pay. Huh, I got a free perk. Oh my god, I got who's who. Oh my god. That sucks. Who's who is one of the worst perks. I will give Die Rise haters a, a bone there. I'll toss them a bone. Who's who is one of the worst perks, if not the worst perk in Call of Duty Zombies history. Nope, this is a mule kick anyway. 
But I thought you got the free perk from knifing them. I guess it's just from having 100% accuracy. So we got that free perk. I'm still looking for speed cola. I mean, it doesn't really matter that we got that perk because we can just use those rounds to get all the perks on the map anyway. But I just, you know, would have preferred to just not have it. <laughs> okay, here's the legit question. Is can I bridge that gap? We're going to die trying, I suppose. I don't see why not. Let's see. Awesome, okay. I would have been really upset if we didn't. <laughs> okay, I wanted to hop over here. And take this very slowly and carefully, obviously. Jump down. Right down here. Get some Galva Knuckles, of course. Just because for those like jumping jack rounds, we can just use the Galva Knuckles on them and not have to worry about missing a shot or not for that free perk. Um, I don't remember this map too well. That's why I'm just kind of checking every corner I run through. All right. Here, AN94. One of the best wall weapons of all time. I remember this and uh, the PDW is on this map as well. Uh, I don't think... No, I know they came back and buried at least. They are very underrated though, in my opinion. Another thing in Die Rise's defense is there's lots of good training spots. You can train here really easily. You can train where I first trample steamed over to. You can train on the roof. There's not in a... There's like... There's tons of good training spots. And that's another good thing about this map. That's what makes a good map in my opinion, is if you can train on it easily. I mean, too easily, if a map's too easy, it's not as fun as it can be, but I don't think this is too easy of a map. I think this is like a nice middle ground in between. All right, let's use our Galvin Knuckles on these guys. We should get another free perk. Then we won't even have to worry about finding Speed Cola, assuming we get Speed Cola. And I got Quick Reviving. <laughs> another perk that's useless to us, because if we go down, the challenge is over, so <laughs> I would have preferred Speed Cola and Mule Kick, but we should get them eventually in due time. There's only one thing left for me to do, and it's go Pack-A-Punch, and I think I want to Pack-A-Punch this AN-94. Okay, this is where the map becomes a bit stressful. Chilling here, waiting for the elevators to move. Uh, especially when we're going down and I want to go up. Man, this is what I hate about Black Ops 2, though. Like, I, at least, I don't know if this is a PC thing or a, a thing in the game, because I never, ever remember having this happen on Xbox 360, but I get stuck on just random, like, things on the ground like that so often. All right, let's test out this Sliquifier. Have not fired it yet. Let's get a good train going, and uh, over here, let's just... Slippery when undead. Man, it is such a good good and fun wonder weapon. It was way better before they nerfed it. This was the most overpowered wonder weapon of all time before they nerfed it. But it's still fun and still good in my opinion. I want to pack a punch, but I know this is about to run away on me. I can tell by the doors. Yep. Good thing I didn't go for it. Now I'm in a bit of a tricky spot, though. Oh, my Galvin Knuckles are still one shot, so we should be fine. As this guy's, like, wrecking me on the feet. I said on the feet like it's a fucking MMA match. As if he could take me down and submit me. Okay. That is... Okay. For the Die Rise haters, I'll give them that. The armored zombies are definitely a nuisance. Do not need to be in the map. I'll give them that. That is a dumb feature. Okay. Let's hope I can grab this. There we go, the Actuated Neutralizer 94,000. AN94, I got the little bunny red dot. Love this gun, love this gun. I don't know, man. I'm on round 14, almost halfway to round 30. This, I don't think this map is worth all the hate. I really don't, don't get me wrong. It's not, a, it's not an S tier, it's not a greatest of all time map. But there's nothing too wrong with it. Everyone's, oh, the verticality, oh, I've fallen off the map. If you fall <laughs> if you fall off this map, you kind of deserve it in my opinion. In my experience, I don't ever remember falling off this map. I think you've got to be trying to fall off this map if you do. You don't you're not just randomly it's not like I'm just running and whoops, I fell again. I fell off the entire map and died again. That's never happened to me. It's not that big of an issue. It's something unique, something they've never done before, and as far as I'm aware, something they've never tried again. This map is not bad at all in my opinion. Okay. 
If I fall after talking all that shit, <laughs> oh man, I would have looked stupid. Ah, there's Speed Cola. Hello, please open that debris. Well, I can't even buy it, so that doesn't really matter, but we know where it is now, huh? It is a pretty big FU middle finger to the audience, though. How they make a map with verticality and a weapon that'll slide you off the map. And then doesn't put PhD on that map. But technically, they did put it on the map. They just made it so you can't buy it. You can't get to it. That was stupid. I'll give Die Rise haters that. All right, we got a jumping jack round. We should be able to get another perk. I'm just hoping it's speed cola. I don't even really need mule kick. Hey, we got speed cola. Let's go. And this is just kind of the strat. Pick a training spot and use the slick with fire and have it go to town. And that's what I plan to do. This map has a good mix of simplicity and complexity for the casual and hardcore players. It is definitely more on the simple side because there's really nothing left for me to do to set up. Um, that does the... That does get changed later on in Black Ops 2, obviously, with things like Mob of the Dead and Origins. But this is a nice, casual, friendly map, I'd say. Maybe that's a bit of a hot take, but the setup isn't anything crazy. I mean, the Wonder Weapon was insanely easy to build. Power was insanely easy to turn on. You know, I don't think there's anything too wrong with this map. And there we go. Round 20, two-thirds of the way to round 30. And we're going to start out round 20 with a nuke. Pretty good. Well, the Slickle Fire will not help you if you go in a corner. This is how Who's Who works, by the way. One of the weirdest perks of all time. You, you drop back in and you revive yourself. And I just got the achievement for it. And I lost Who's Who. I have it down, so the challenge is going to restart. But what a weird perk concept, right? I don't know. Either way, we got to restart this challenge now. All right, there we go. Round 25, zero downs, rocking the Galil, PDW, and Sliquifier. Things are going well. Man, I love the Sliquifier. Just fire it because we're always getting max ammos. And look at him melt. I love it. How can you not love it? It's it's just a fun, awesome weapon. I do miss pre-patch Sliquifier, though. Man, I love the Sliquifier. I love it. How can you not love it? We got round 28 as a crawler round. So that's a skip, essentially. Then it's just one more round. As you can see, I didn't even bother going for the extra perks just because all they do is help me when I go down. And when I go down, the challenge is over. So there wasn't even a point to go for them. I kept on throwing my AN-94 in the Pack-A-Punch machine, trying to get that uh, bunny rabbit reticle again because that shit was awesome. But I got the millimeter scanner site. I forgot all about this thing. Bro, I used to run this on my MP7 all the time. I remember, dude, I don't know why. I just loved this reticle. No idea. I never used it to look through walls or whatever the gimmick was. I'm not going to die on camera. Okay, that was really close. Every time I start talking, I die. Every time. It's, they, they have to correlate. Okay, I'm going to focus up, get this challenge done. I always love when that happens. Back when I was like 12 years old playing on an Xbox 360, that shit was hysterical to me. I really want to run into that Claymore trap, but I'm also really worried it's a bad idea. So let's do it. Nope, that was pretty awesome. And there we go, round 30. Not even a thousand kills, which is weird. You can see I have a, a bunch of headshots. I was really just using the AN and PDW more than the Sliquifier this run. I don't know why, but it was just, it was just happening for me. I don't know. So there's round 30, but I do want to get to the bank. I want to drop off this 100,000 I have. Maybe put a weapon in the locker. Um, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. That's why I'm just doing it middle of the round. I don't really care. But let's see if we can pull it off. Oh boy, this is a lot of money to deposit. I can't click much faster. <laughs> Here we go. Deposit and shoot. Awesome. There we go. Load that bank up. Oh my god, I'm typing now. Hang on. Why was I typing? Okay, there we go. Now if I could just get this AN-94 in the in the weapons vault. There we go. There we go. Locked it in. 30 rounds. I could have put five more thousand in the bank, but I guess I had to miss out on that. 30 rounds. Die Rise, in conclusion, is a fun map. I will stand by that and I will defend it. But up next, we have one of the best maps of all time. Mob of the Dead. And I'll see you there. Bye, guys.